Good day, Cell Wars fans. I'm Sandy Pondwater. Today, we're gonna look at the best battery for your DF-65. Brought to you by the Northern Maryland Mall Yacht Club and the Space Coast Model Sailing Club, which is located in beautiful Melbourne, Florida. And of course, we love the AMYA. And we have a new Facebook page, and in just over a month, we have 4,000 friends, so friend us. And before we hit the water, we would like to thank our newest subscribers. Thank you so much. We appreciate everything you're doing. So let's get weighing. The Dragon 65 Restricted Class Rules version 1.7 state that the minimum weight of a battery has to be 45 grams. So we're going to find out today how low of a battery in milliamps can you go before you hit that number. It's important to remember that different manufacturers batteries may have slightly different weights. So weigh your own before competing in a sanctioned event. Let's start by weighing connectors. Now there's many kinds of connectors. This is just our little standard. So the standard connection that comes with the boat weighs less than one gram. And a Dean's connection also weighs less than one gram. So much so that our little scale could not even weigh it. So it really doesn't make too much of a difference which connector you're using. Now a six volt 200 milliamp nickel metal battery weighs 144 grams and this is the largest battery we will test. These are best for larger boats such as an EC-12. The next battery we will test is the standard battery pack which has AA batteries and it comes in at 104 grams. And of course these come stock in a DF-65. These other batteries are ones that you would use to replace that pack. The next battery is a 7.4 1700 milliamp and it weighs 82 grams. This is a good size for an IOM Solene US 1 meter. Or if you need to race about 15 races, they'll last a long time. The next battery is a 6.6 .6 volt 90 milliamp battery and it weighs 54 grams. These are good for about 8 to 10 races. Now we are getting to the lighter batteries. The 7.4 volt 800 milliamp equals 46 grams. Uh oh, watch out, we're getting close to that 45 grams. And last but not least, we're going to test out a 7.4 500 milliamp. And it comes in at 46, and then it changed to 48 grams. So our advice is don't go below the 800 milliamps. Why would you? They weigh about the same. Only use a 500 milliamp if you're going to do real short races and maybe a maximum of five of those. Our favorite size to use is a 800 milliamps for standard DF65 racing. Caution, check which voltage your electronics can handle. We don't want you blowing up your system and blaming it on us because we have blown up several servos from versions one through five. Again, check what the manufacturer recommends and then do it at your own peril. Now as far as does the higher voltage mean the servos move faster, we tested this and we saw no difference. So of course, be safe when you're charging, especially with LiPo batteries. The life batteries seem to be safer. So have fun sailing. Thank you, Sandy. We will all subscribe. Wait a minute, Sandy, that's me. Oh, okay, I'll thank myself. But go ahead and subscribe and watch for more great videos. Of course, Sail Wars is made up of volunteers such as myself. And the only thanks we get is for you guys subscribing or saying hello to us and thanking us at the pond. 
Again, we use our own money, our own time and effort to bring you these great videos. And we've made about 170 of them in just over a year because we love the sport of RC cell boat racing. So remember, if you run a club's homepage, please, please, please put a link to our YouTube Sail Wars homepage on your website and let your sailors know about us so they can go to our website and look at our many, many great videos. And of course, they can check out the best of Sail Wars on there. And make sure if you don't belong to a club, find a great club near you, such as the Northern Maryland Mall Yacht Club or the Space Coast Model Sailing Club. Well, this is Sandy Pongwater signing off. I'll see you at the pond.